Hey, uh, Everyday Jedi here, going over another aspect of the uh, Mandalorian uniform cosplay outfit. Uh, a lot of 3D parts picked up, uh, sourced from a lot of different places. Uh, actually, I saw a really great segment on a tested with Adam Savage talking about how to weather make this stuff look like it's uh, used. Uh, when I got it, it was a really, really nice, pretty uh, base color. I tried to go in with a, a chrome look to it because I felt like best car, you know, that's, that's what it should look like. And wore the outfit a few times, tested it out and just didn't, it just didn't feel right. <clears throat> so watching the segment, and he went through a technique of blacking it in, putting black paint in all the corners and rubbing it off, giving it that aged, distressed, dirty look as we know it should be because obviously Mando does a lot of fighting. Uh, remember with the mud horn in the mud. I mean, this thing takes a beating, but I think the process turned out really nicely. It's kind of hard to see. But as you can tell, it's darkened in on all the edges where dirt and debris would normally catch. Uh, there's no right or wrong way. I mean, it's just a, a way of making it look aged. I think it turned out really nice. I'm ready to get it all <clears throat> finished up. You can see it in the corners. Very nice. I haven't done the motor yet. Jetpack hadn't started that one yet. That was a little more complicated. Oh, and there's my Grogu running around barking. Sorry. But anyway, that was really it. Just giving an update on the process <laughs> for. Uh... Come here. Come here. This is Grogu. Ah! Anyway, just going through the process of aging it and trying to stress it, make it look really unique, uh, make it look accurate. So, anyway, uh, as I do the, the uh, jetpack, I've got a few more other details to put together, and I'll post another video here soon, uh, kind of giving an update on the process of pulling the outfit together. Uh, anyway, uh, appreciate it. Uh, really trying to get this thing going, so make sure to subscribe. Uh, it doesn't hurt anything to do that. Just hit subscribe. And uh, I'm going to keep on going with this and seeing how, how detailed I can get on some of the descriptive stuff we're doing. And I'll, uh, I'll kind of try it on from here and there to post uh, process or progress shots of it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please feel free to jot it down below. All right. Uh, Everyday Jedi 1212 signing off. That's it for now. I uh, appreciate it. Thanks a lot.